It may seem like a normal suburban house in South Dublin, but inside, cork is being burned in the traditional way, and Bob Ryan is blackening his moustache as he's been doing for the past 14 years every St Stephen's Day. For some it may seem strange, but for Bob and hundreds of others around the country, keeping alive the Wren's Day is important and great fun. The day of the Wren is a day for dressing up and um, hunting for the Wren, and the tradition around the country was you went in disguise. You see, it was a day that everyone inverted their own position. In other words, men became women, women became men, the king became the pauper, and the pauper became the king. So, uh, I'm changing. The king of the birth, the king of the day, with cotton of birth. Open the hands and know the pan, and the kids are going to carry the run. Over in Sandy Mount, Bob joined the other Wren boys for two hours of festivities. Undeterred by the blustery conditions, people from the age of 94 to 4 joined in the carnival atmosphere. Since the Wren boys restarted the festivities in Dublin in 1984, the reaction has been great. While the exact history of the Wren's Day is still unclear, many see it as a combination of pagan and Christian rituals. Over 300 people, including the Lord Mayor of Dublin, came out to enjoy this unique celebration of song, dance, storytelling and a little drinking. The festival here in Sandy Mount also has a serious side, with up to a thousand pounds being collected today for cerebral palsy Ireland. And with the Millennium Festivals fast approaching, the Rand Boys plan next year's festival to be the best ever. Damien Tiernan, RT News, Sandy Mount.